Hey all, Rob here. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when future videos are out. And in this topic, I would like to talk about public domain and what happens when Batman and Superman enter the public domain in the next decade. As I am making this video, it says in the article I'm reading that Superman will be in public domain in 2034, Batman 2035, Wonder Woman 2037, Captain America 2036. And don't forget Marvel had a lot of the Golden Age characters were made in about the 1940s. So they will enter the public domain around that same time and there are a lot of lesser known characters that are not famous from Marvel that would be public domain you probably never even heard of them because they're just not popular only very few Golden Age characters from Marvel lasted but they would be in the public domain as well so my first thought is it's very negative because it is I will see it to believe it because Superman and Batman should have already been public domain but with the in my opinion conspiring between government and big business the it got extended so I would not be surprised when you have a billion dollar corporation pay off politicians and change the laws that's all you got to do to stop it from going public domain just change the laws you don't think they wouldn't buy off the politicians no don't get me wrong DC would still have Batman Superman and all of that Marvel would still have Captain America and all of that but what it would mean is that you or me or anyone legally could make your own Captain America, Superman, Batman stuff. Just like you could make your own Dracula book or movie. There's nothing preventing you from it. You just can't copy anyone else's interpretation other than the original book and then making your own type of look for the character. You could make a Dracula. You could make a Hercules movie or a comic book. You could make a Thor if you base it on the original legends. All of this is public domain, even though people are not really using it. So first of all, the big issue is, like I said, I will see it to believe it. Because I personally think the corporations will buy off the politicians to change the laws so it doesn't happen for another 20, 50, or more years. It's very possible. But let us assume it does go to the public domain. And in my opinion, I think it's one of those things where once it enters the public domain, that's it. You can't pull it back anymore if you're Marvel or DC. But here's the thing. Most everyone is going to screw up and then get sued or told to stand down by Marvel and DC because most people are not going to use it right first you cannot call the character Superman or Batman or Wonder Woman or Captain America on your promotional material the name is trademarked it is copyrighted so you would have the image but you couldn't call it that in advertising like you couldn't write a book and say Batman on the cover because that's trademarked by DC you'd have to call him again I'm I'm not saying I'm a copyright expert so just my opinion here maybe you could call him Batman in the book but you cannot advertise it as Batman you know what I'm saying like you can't promote it you can't do any of that you could just call him Batman in the book or better yet change his name
everyone would change their name like bat whatever or just blue bat or whatever just you'd have to change the name at least in the marketing I'm not sure about in the book itself but here's where everyone would screw up only the first appearance of Batman and Superman and those characters that first issue that's the public domain version again I think this might change later as the years go on as more of the of what made the character enters public domain but generally speaking the costume with the purple gloves and no arm fins and no yellow circle in the bat and you had that weird like cape design that's the public domain look it is not what you consider the established Batman costume and what people would do is they would draw the Batman costume as he is modern looking and not that first appearance and then you're in legal trouble they put the fins on the gloves you're in legal trouble the yellow oval none of that's public domain just the first look at Batman and then people would use the Batarang the Batmobile the Batcopter and all this Batman villains none of that is public domain when it happens or it won't be for many more years after the only thing you have is that first issue where Batman fights gangsters or mobsters that's it you cannot use any bat villain you could make your own villains you can make your own bad guys the only established bad guys are mobsters or gangsters you cannot use Alfred you can use Commissioner Gordon you have Commissioner Gordon Bruce Wayne and Batman that's it no Alfred no Robin that will be more years away uh, and everyone's gonna screw it up like I said and I keep saying that because they're gonna use the Batman villains they're gonna use the Batarang they're gonna use the Batmobile and none of that's public domain and all of that will get you in trouble just like Superman he did not wear the red boots in that first appearance it was all blue down there people are gonna put the red boots and the established costume and they're gonna with the classic symbol and you're gonna get in legal trouble you'd have to go to the very early Superman but you know look I guess if I was a lawyer a case could be made you had the Batman with the purple gloves but the cover Batman had the square belt in the middle but in the story was the circle belt and he had small black gloves on the cover and Superman even though his boots were like stringed up on Superman they were colored red on the cover even though it wasn't in the story so I guess an argument could be made that the red boots on the cover and the gloves on Batman based on the cover and the belt shouldn't that be public domain because it's two different looks from what was the interior page and what was the cover so I guess you know that would be an interesting debate and again Wonder Woman the first appearance look Captain America the triangle shield first appearance look basically the people most people would mess it up everything you know in the modern days as the character and then you're in trademark trouble because that's not legal or it would be years away until it got legal but you know I was thinking where the money actually is not comic books if it enters public domain what I would do or you could do is you could sell your own posters your own uh, art boards you could make and sell your own action figures of Batman of Superman of Wonder Woman of Captain America and all of them that's what I would sell t-shirts with the character stuff like that and people would would know oh that's Batman that's Superman yeah let me buy that you'd have to base it on the first look but that's where the money is and let's say even though you change the name of the character on merchandise 
people will know from the visual image that's Batman I just buy that you know they would know from the visual image of the toy that's Superman that's where the money is not comic books because the visual is the important thing and that means anyone could make a Superman movie or Batman based on the first look and you couldn't advertise it as Batman but you could base a movie on it but again you'd have to be very careful not to mess it up legally but it could be done you know what would be the funniest thing though because it's public domain right that means another company could claim it wouldn't it be funny if Marvel claimed Batman and Superman I mean you technically could it is legally accepted they have to be again you have to be very careful what you do how you portray it and I'm sure a lot of those image guys they would put Superman and Batman in their books I just know that you know again as long as you're very careful you could get away with it and it's not getting away with it because it's just public domain it's legally you got a right to it but you just got to be careful but like I said most people will mess it up I just feel they will but you know that's my opinion is the money is selling something visual that would also mean the first appearance comic issue of the characters is public domain so you could sell the pages to panels on on t-shirts for example it alter the graphics a little bit again it's all it would all be legal yeah you know, so it's just an interesting talk I think the money for people is just selling the visual image and then you have a legal right to it to make money off that visual you could either use what's been done that first issue or you could hire someone or you can make it yourself action figures all of this is possible now DC of course will legally publish it still and Marvel their own characters but you would have that freedom to use the character as well but you just have to be really careful in how you present it and probably would want to hire a lawyer as well just to be safe in fact I would go so far as to make a uh, your own company that you're the owner of to protect yourself legally because then you can't be sued but your company can but you and your money will be protected because it will be a corporation of your own that you can make again I'm just saying that would be the smart thing to do is not to sell it yourself but make your own corporation which is very cheap and you can't do that to sell your merchandise the one thing I was thinking of, you know, is trying to get into the public domain stuff myself, that the Tower Comics, the original Thunder Agents, that's public domain, but there has been legal battles, but supposedly the person trying to claim ownership of Thunder Agents doesn't have any legal rights to it. So it actually is public domain from what I'm hearing and what I've done on research but I really don't know that the Thunder Agents are actual public domain it's one of those it's like are you 100% sure not really so it's best not to chance it maybe because you don't want to get in trouble but supposedly that is public domain and the whole thing is it's like and I, I know I changed topics, but the Thunder Agents, which is a team, even the ownership is disputed of who owned what legally back then. It, it was never clear cut. 
from what I read. But I think there is legal use to the team. Which again, not 100% sure about that. So that's my talk about public domain for the big names, superheroes. And again, any Marvel superheroes in the 1940s will also be up. The problem is, like I said, most people will mess it up. They will put modern interpretations and the modern stuff and villains and none of that's public domain. You'd have to be very careful and you would have to not advertise it as that character. And the best, in my opinion, stuff would be just to make your own merchandise to sell. Not even comic books, just the merchandise, the visual alone will sell it. And so that's my thoughts on it. Hopefully it does happen and it does get to the public domain, but I don't know about that with the politicians and changing laws. And so that's my review on it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. If you like this talk, let me know. Stay safe, my friends, and I'll talk to you later.